Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's see, it's actually been a, a few days since I played. Uh, when I last left you we were going to get past the Larkon. And I said I was going to jump this river here. I thought it involved more scouting around, but you really just, in Luther's form, you just jump across and you take some damage, but he survives it. And let's see. So now I got uh, the Larkon Vapors, which we're going to use to get into the Claw Mountains. Yeah, I'll be a wizard for now. We've worked very hard to get to this point. <laughs> just gonna have to run up to this guy. Oh, look at him go. Here we go. <laughs> Much uh, different encounter with the Larkon than in the first game. Since we don't get to kill it, it's just kind of sleeping. As you can hear. If you can hit it. That's strange. That's strange. That's strange. <laughs> Very strange. All right, let's do this. Just bear with me here. Disc four. And here we go. This here is a picture of the Ruloy Citadel, which we are headed toward. Luther, I have found the answer. Your curse contains the ancient magic I need to stop Belial. Can you take it from me without harm? Not yet. You must accompany me to the City of the Ancients. What about the Dreamstone? Oh yes, there is that one last detail. We must get a Dreamstone. I'm exploring the Aetherways. Why don't you see if you can get one from the Ruloi? The ancient magic you carry within is our only hope. We must raise the City of the Ancients and find the Mother Beast. Mother Beast? It is the creature that will give birth to Belial. You must expel your curse and use its ancient power to cause Belial's birth. Why don't we just kill this Mother Beast ourselves? Belial cannot be killed in the womb. Only when briefly newborn will he be vulnerable. I do appreciate you're constantly trying to give me things, but really, I have all I need. Except, of course, for a dreamstone. Why don't you go get one of those and give it to me? Bye, then. I'll meet you at the temple. Oh, Don. It's all business with you, isn't it? So, here we are. Pretty yeah. radical change of scenery, as you can see. Got some pretty, uh... Ah, uh, inspiring vistas here, some nice mountain tops. This is kind of slippery stuff we're walking on to, so it's kind of yeah. hard to run along this part. Take it back on just the regular snow. <clears throat> this location here is another one of those weird, just lands of lore kind of things. You go here, you have no idea what it is, what it's all about. You'll never know. I'll show you. Those are tar crystals growing here. You can combine those with the mandrake root to make the fire spell. 
so here in this gate. Because <laughs> these weird little ice men. Well, that was weird. That guy just attacked me and walked off. I'll say I've never seen that happen before. These guys actually usually will never attack you unless you hurt them first. Yeah. They are quite mysterious. They just kind of run around here. So is this their hey, home? Go, go. Why is that guy attacking me? I guess I'll kill them. <laughs> They're pretty easy to kill. Are they all gonna attack me now? No. I mean, they kind of have a strange little primitive language too, it seems. That's the only item you can really use. This, this, these bracers, if I'm not mistaken, if you have them equipped, you can use this weapon here without taking damage, because this is that War Axe Traitor, I believe. War Axe Traitor. Yeah, and if you have that equipped with these... Braces of Valor. For some reason, it doesn't hurt you. There's no way to know that unless you've tried it. There's really nothing else of value in here, it's just kind of a mysterious place, and uh... <laughs> I guess only that one guy wanted to kill me. Maybe he was their alpha male or something. I used to ponder this place a lot, I'm thinking there's gotta be something significant going on. But you can just completely ignore this and there's no consequences whatsoever. You can kill all those people and there's no consequences whatsoever. It's just really weird. And it's totally off the path where you need to go, so it's not like you even have to pass it in order to get to where you're going. So I always found that kind of interesting. What we need to do is cross this right here. There's some other items you can get in here. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm reaching a point where a lot of items that I do get, I'm not really needing. I'll show you for example. Uh, I didn't really want to be a beast right now. I guess I'll also mention from, from here on out it's mostly just inconvenient to be the beast. I, I seldom like to turn into him at this point. Little tiger sleeping here peacefully. And I actually need to get in there, but I don't really. You know, I have to cross this place again on my way out of here, so we'll just do all this part later. Right now I just want to get to the Citadel. The Rulois Citadel. What awaits us there, you ask? Maybe some Rulois, no doubt. <sighs> awesome mountains, though. Uh, so if I was standing over here when that avalanche happened, I would have died. These things right here, they're called ice crystals and they basically do the exact same thing that those stone cubes did. They just look a little different.
There's a funny part coming up here too. Kenneth, is that you? <laughs> you just won't quit, will you? Perhaps you are aware of the curse I bear. Kenneth's <laughs> girl. Disgusting. <laughs> oh, got a picture of Kenneth's girlfriend. Is he really dead? Oh. I guess so. This picture here, if you throw it on the ground, it breaks and there's this, called Kenneth's Charm. And it basically offers you more protection. Gauntlets of might. Gonna use it for now, actually. I just want to say something about this. I thought it was funny that we just find Kenneth dead here because the game kind of leads you to believe that Kenneth is after you and you're gonna meet up with him later and there might be a confrontation, but but you just kind of find him here, lying here dead in this anti-climatic sort of way, and I think it's pretty amusing. I wondered if actually they meant to have a confrontation between you and Kenneth, but it was cut maybe later for development reasons, and so they just stuck his dead body here. <laughs> if the intention was to always lead you to believe that you would fight him, and they meant all along for him just to be dead because he's incompetent, uh, I'm actually pretty impressed by that as well. So. Uh, Just always cracked me up. I just find Kenneth dead here. He's just lying there dead. This part I thought you needed to be the lizard to get across this jump, but I think it's actually best to do it as Luther. There we go. Like I said, there's more to explore here on the way back, but I'd rather just do it on the way back so we don't needlessly backtrack. So for now we have everything we need to proceed to this place. Yeah. 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 Bacata. What happened? Luther. Mistress Dawn is inside. I feel the Ruloi have captured her. Let's go in and save her then. I fear I am too injured to fight them further now. The Ruloi are difficult creatures to battle. Their magic is very powerful. Think you can offer him something? Here, perhaps this will benefit you. Ah, yes. That is much appreciated, but still, I must rest a bit. Very well. I will enter and do what I can alone. Good luck in there. I'll catch up as soon as I'm stronger. <laughs> I really like the thumb go. They look like something you'd see at a Farscape or something. Alright, so let's walk in here and uh, we'll watch a little cutscene and we'll just take a break after that. I think I've died trying to do this. Yeah. Jump. <laughs> See? Hey. Actually, now that we're here, that reminds me, there was a speaking stone I think I forgot to watch. Here it is. Hey, what the tar is that? It looks like a flying building about to land. Flying building? 
<laughs> Most interesting. Alright, so here we are inside the citadel. And there's going to be quite a lot to do here. Um, not as much as some areas, but it's a pretty interesting place. You'll see it's also quite different from the places we've been before. So we'll take a break here, and when we get back, we'll begin exploring.